Hello and welcome back to Fairy Fencer F Advent Dark Force. Last time we went to the Crevice Ice Cave and encountered some trouble because everything was icy, surprisingly, and they didn't account for that, you know, like bringing warm clothes or anything to that effect. But we nonetheless were able to get the fury that we found in the cave. I don't exactly know how, they didn't explain that, uh, but I'm assuming that we pulled it out of the monster or whatever it was that apparently was there. Uh, but anyway, yeah, let's go to the Sunflower Inn now, since there's an event there. Another day. We need to repair the ceiling soon. These leaks are getting worse. Say, what was that boy's name again? He's been here for like three days or something, right? You don't even remember his name still? Lady, you stupid. Are you referring to Fang? Yeah. Yeah, him. I wonder if he can help me out. All he does is sleep, so I figure he's got plenty of time on his hands. Well, he, you're trying to find Furies at the same time, so maybe, I don't know. Of course. I shall speak to him personally. Okay, well, makes sense. He's probably more adept at helping fix all those things than other people here, I guess. If there is anything else he can do to thank you for taking such good care of us, Please let me know. Of course, she has no issue with volunteering Fang to do all of this in order to thank her for everything. Really? Then I'm gonna ask him to clean the windows and scrub the latrine, too. And Mrs. Five Stars taking full advantage of that. Understood. Fang could certainly stand to be more useful around here. Don't you agree, Kiwi? Kiwi! <laughs> ah, oh, I completely forgot. A letter arrived for you. Oh, what's the letter about? A letter? Yeah, what is it? Here you are. Yeah, okay. A party invite from the Dorfa Corporation. Oh, what? Why would the, what would a corporation want with us? A party? This music is new. If you would like, you are welcome to attend with me. Cool. <laughs> Aaron seems to be very excited about this. Tonight. Oh, wow, that's short notice. Uh, I'll pass. Parties are a pain. I'd rather just sleep in my room. What are you talking about? You can meet new people, you can have fun, there will probably be food there. I see. And there is going to be so much delicious food there, too. What a shame. Everyone knows how to get Fang motivated to do something. Food! What? Are you serious? <laughs> the invitation states that guests will enjoy a sumptuous buffet for dinner. That means there will be a plethora of food. Those are two very... rather articulate with how you're trying to persuade him right now, but okay, I'll think he'll... I think he's already hooked. But if you would rather sleep, I will not force you to come. Aaron and I will attend the party by ourselves. And gorge ourselves on all the wonderful food. Wait, I'll go! I'm an expert at parties! I'm the party master! When I was a kid, they used to call me Fang, the party animal. You better not be an animal at this party, it's at a fucking corporation. I think it's more formal than that. I'm sure they did. <laughs> I have my black belt in partying! Right, that's a thing. In that case, let's all go together. Woohoo! But before we leave, you need to fix the leaky ceiling, clean the windows, and scrub the latrine. Well... I guess he kind of has to do all that now. <laughs> what? Quit screwing with me. Why do I got to do that? Because do you, do you want to go to the party or not? If you refuse to do it, I will not bring you to the party. Yeah, it's, it turned into just asking him to help into blackmailing him to do it. What? Yep. Are you sure you're okay with that? There will be lots of delicious food. And you can eat as much of it as you want. I have to give props to Tiara for figuring out a way to get him to do stuff, at least. As much as I want? Seriously? Yeah, that's what buffet means. Eating as much as you want is the whole point of a buffet. Yeah. A buffet, huh? That, that sounds pretty awesome. Go fix the ceiling. What? Why am I getting a door? Oh, it's just something about the Dorfer Corporation. Okay, then. Okay, so the Jar idea is they're just a small time company, but they've gotten really big, and they 
are very beloved because they apparently do a lot of work with other stuff or something, whatever. Hmm, and we have some sub-events here too. Aaron, hmm. Thanks to my quick thinking, we managed to get the Fury. There's no fairies more skilled than me. You are so annoying when you brag. <laughs> Kinda, yeah. Did you say something? <laughs> he says that a lot. <laughs> Feigning that her hearing apparently wasn't up to par, I guess. I must admit. I must admit that I acted thoughtlessly at the Catechist Ice Cave. What? Was it Catechist or Crevice? From now on, I will strive to act with more caution. Did I say that wrong at the very beginning? The Crevice Ice Cave. Whoa, I never expected you to act modest about anything. It's actually kind of gross. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at his face. He's, he seems haunted. What'd you say? Say that to my face, you son of a- You triggered Tiara again. Why would you do such a thing? Okay, well, there's nothing else in terms of events right now, so let's he just head right to the door phase. Oh, wow. It is. That's a really cool tree. Also, you're gonna have to speak a little bit louder. Apparently, the some sort of volume setting I have makes it to where the voices in the background are very loud. Typical of a party hosted by the Dorfa Corporation. Many of the people here are actually local celebrities. Who thought this was a good thing to have so much noise going on for us? But yeah. Isn't the Dorfa Corporation a world famous company? Why were we invited to this party? That's a good question. We are fencers. They probably heard about us somewhere. Okay, at least it stopped. Thank God. <laughs> okay, but yeah, I get. Okay, I guess they. Oh, well, we have been finding a lot of furies, I guess. Oh, that reminds me. There are other fencers in the world besides us. Yeah, that's obvious. We've known about that since the very beginning. Fencers are a rare sight in this world due to their special abilities. But that's also what puts them in such high demand. Oh, okay. So they're not necessarily as common as they have been. But we seem to have been attracting them a lot. Oh well. Everyone, including companies like the Dorfer Corporation, seeks out fencers to utilize their skills for various projects. I guess that makes sense. That bandit, or rather, all these monsters and bandits don't stand a chance against me, unless they're really tough, like those two giants. I see. Mm hmm Whatever. I don't really care as long as I get food in my belly. Yeah, Fang's kind of simple like that, but at least he knows what he wants. <gasps> no, don't tell me. Oh, damn it! It's that girl from before! Things are gonna get super weird if she spots me. I better try and avoid her. Yeah! Okay, I was not expecting Ethel and Karin to be at this fucking party, too. That's a surprise. Thank you, everyone, for joining us today. Who are you? My name is Paiga. On behalf of the president of the Dorfer Corporation, I would like to personally thank you all for attending. So uh, apparently the president isn't here himself, but oh well, I guess this guy's here for it. As you know, our company has expanded to incorporate various businesses that provide food, clothing, and housing to the public. Okay, so yeah, they're a very charitable organization, apparently. Furthermore, the Dorfer Corporation supports many philanthropic programs, like managing orphanages and running various charities. Yeah, there you go. Filling hearts with the sun's radiance. That is the motto of the Dorfer Corporation. Yeah, it seems kind of forced. I'm not sure, though. Is it a cover? I don't know. Huh. What a squeaky clean story. It sounds suspicious. Okay, at least I'm not the only one that's a little hesitant about hearing all that about Dorfer. The Dorfer Corporation is renowned for their charity work. They're the number one company fencers seek employment with. Oh, yeah. Well, are there any other companies out there? Yeah, that's even harder for me to believe. You know what I do believe? How tasty this food is! Oh, yeah. <laughs> he's, he's enjoying the food, it seems. Good job, TR. He's become a food monster. This party represents our desire to foster mutual friendships with the public. Please enjoy yourselves to the fullest. Why do you sound like you have a mask on? You seem a little bit muffled. Maybe it's because it's from far away or something. I don't know. Now then, that's enough for me. We have a special piano performance for you all. Oh, cool. Wh who is it? Mr. Sherman. 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 Oh, who is that guy? I hope everyone enjoys their meal and the sounds of Mr. Sherman's piano. May tonight be a festive night for you all. That's Air 
from Bach. That's interesting. It's on the piano. Usually I hear it from cellos. That's nice. <laughs> not this, this again. This may be hosted by the world famous Dorfer Corporation, but the food is not that delicious. <laughs> well, Tara is a little bit nitpicky. Also, now there's a piano in the background. I don't mind that, but it's the talking that I can't say. However, What's that? the music he creates with that piano seems to enhance the flavor of these dishes for some reason. Oh, I think she likes Sherman. Or at least Sherman's me. <laughs> he likes it too. Chicken tastes amazing! It's so moist, it's practically melting in my mouth! I, how are you talking with your mouth just moving as you're chewing? That's impressive. Um, mm, mm, this is the best! This lobster tail tastes so good with this truffle butter! Well then, I, you really should talk with your mouth full, Fang. Fang! Stop eating off my plate! <laughs> and stop eating off mine! Why don't you both just share food and be done with it? Kill. Kill, kill. Kill, 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 kill. Oh, God, no, it's Ethel's back with all of her kill. Ha! Ah, she spotted me! Yeah. So it's you. I thought I heard the sound of idiots. Still acting all lovey-dovey, huh? <laughs> what? Wow, I forget. That's... Quite a bit that comes from just saying kill, kill, kill at different intervals and different tones and inflections. I think it's about time I paid you back for before, is what Ethel said. Always with the smile. Thank you, Karin. I missed you. Ethel, why are you trying to kill us? This is a party. Don't cause a scene. Kill! Don't! Bet! Um. Come on, cut it out! I'm eating here! Save it for later! Yeah, attack us outside or something. Yeah, that's right! What would happen if this sharp thing got stuck in my throat and I died? Yes, I don't think she cares, Aaron. Hey, I already called that shark fin. Oh god. Yep, that, that was a pretty good uh, summarization Ethel made, though. That she thought she heard the sound of idiots. You guys are being attacked. Why are you so casual about this? Stop it already! Here, have some tea and settle down. Oh god. I don't need any damn tea. Uh oh. What? Whoa! Why did you did you knock it away from her? Oh. That was sushi and tea. What in the world are you all doing? Well, they were attacked, but Fag kind of was stupid and knocked some tea out of Aaron's hand. What am I doing? Isn't it obvious? Being stupid, yeah. Thanks a lot, Fang. Now the piano is soaked with tea. And Ethel and Karin are just here. Kill, kill. Kill, kill, kill. She's smiling and... <laughs> Guess she enjoys seeing us flail about like a bunch of idiots. Ethel says, Tisk tisk. Now you're in trouble. Okay. What are you talking about? You did this! Not really. You knocked it out of her hand. Fang. It's your fault! Yeah. I don't think my darling Ethel did anything wrong at all. She tried to attack us in the middle of a party, Karin! That's not. That's something. There's something wrong with that. That is quite enough. Apologize for your rude behavior right this instant! Also, where the hell did Ethel go? Did she just book it out of there? <laughs> it's quite alright. There's no need to apologize. This piano C note was slightly off anyway. Oh. We could... okay. Sherman, out of nowhere. Huh? Oh? I'm the one who should be apologizing. I've clearly subjected everyone here to unsatisfactory music. No, that has... That has nothing to do with everything that was happening. Why are you just interjecting yourself? Why are you saying that? That's... Please, uh, it's no trouble at all. Uh, he's being a little too nice. Phew, I'm glad he didn't ask us to compensate him for the piano. Right, Bang? Well, yeah. Also, why would he ask you to compensate for the piano? Is it even his piano? Did he have to bring his own piano? Or was it the Dorfer Corporation's? It's just a little wet from tea. Quit overreacting. Yeah, okay. I was just about to say, too. It's just tea. It's not that much of a problem, right? I disagree. We disrupted your performance. We are the ones who should be apologizing. Fair enough, you did disrupt it, but at the same time, given everything that was happening, it's not that much of a problem, I think. Regardless of your piano's tuning, your performance was truly wonderful. As if a rainbow sprang forth from my heart. I think Tiara really likes Charmin. Your words are far too kind. Thank you. 
Who does this guy think he is? Acting all cool and stuff? He really pisses me off. You piss me off with how arrogant and non lackadaisical you are, Fang. Kill, kill. Okay, we get it. Ethel says, that guy's super suspicious and a total jerk. Oh, well, Ethel? Well, apparently Ethel agrees with Fang. I have to admit, he does seem a little off with just how polite he is, but... Eh. Wow, for once we agree on something. Yeah. Kill. And now she's gonna kill you. Ethel says, I'll kill you and... Well, I'll omit the rest. Yeah, if she says kill and all she intends to mean is you die in some sh way, shape, or form, just say, Ethel said kill. Jeez, could you lighten up already? Yeah. Also, why are you attacking me? Okay, okay. Well, I guess we left the place after that. <laughs> I guess that was Fang brushing his teeth. Good morning. Yeah, they're just getting up. They're sleepy heads. Yeah, brushing teeth. Oh, hey. So, uh, how are things going? Yeah. Huh? What are you talking about? Your memory. Do you remember anything new? Yeah. It was at the very beginning of this, and it hasn't come up since. Oh, that. No, not a thing. None of the fairies I met recognized me either. Well, they have been. Well, the fairies we've gotten from the Furies uh, have been uh, trapped inside those for a long time, so I don't think they've known very many fairies anyway. I see. Hmm. Yeah. Unfortunately. Good morning. She's always up early, so she seems to be ha happy. You two, please hurry and wash your faces. When you are finished preparing, we will leave immediately. Oh, do we have more fury info? The hell! It. What do you mean the hell? It's morning. This is the same thing that's happened the past couple of days. Where are we going? Yeah. I heard something interesting at the door for Corporation's party. There's a fury. Apparently. A holy artifact enshrined in the village of Kitanar is actually a fury. I thought it was very common knowledge what a fury looked like, but okay, I guess it's actually a fury, so going to Kitanar village. When did you hear about that? When we were probably fucking around with the tea. The whole point of parties is to meet new people, converse, and forge new friendships. They are not simply for eating free food. Well, that's exactly why you had Fang come anyway, but... Yeah. Additionally, no less than ten gentlemen flirted with me throughout the night. Good for you. Entirely unneeded. I'm, s I'm assuming that's just to piss Aaron off and have her be all jealous or huffy. What are you bragging about? Fifty people tried to flirt with me. Yep, but now they're both spinning tails now that I think about it. Well, actually, it was more like a hundred people. There were only a hundred people at the party, I imagine. Quit competing, you liars. <laughs> Thank you, Fang. That information about the Fury sounds fishy, too. Are you sure that isn't bogus info? Yeah, where'd you get it from? Who? Regardless, it's better than idly waiting here doing nothing. Besides, it appears Lola has no information on her end either. Oh, okay. I want to gather the Furies as quickly as possible. My dream depends on it. Oh, hey, your dream? Your dream? What's that? World peace, of course. Uh-huh. Pretty sure you're lying. <laughs> I, I like how that sounded at the same time. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Even I'm a little suspicious. Okay. Oh, let's see. This is a little sub-event then. This has been bugging me for a while now. Bugging you? Are you referring to your clothes? Have you gained weight recently? Why? How rude! That's not it at all. I'm talking about the first time I met you. Ah, uh, you mean when Fang fell madly in love with me and chased me down? Sure. Who the hell would do that? Anyway, Aaron, what's on your mind? Yeah. Um, I was wondering why Tierra prepared that chamomile tea. Oh. Uh, oh. Oh, I just love drinking it. It's very tasty, you know? Yeah, it is tasty. Especially when there's paralytic stuff in it. I realized I could just say paralytic tea inside paralytic tea. Moving on! 
Personally, I'd rather eat meat. Well, yeah, you're fang, though. No one cares about your eating habits. I'm talking about the fact that it was paralytic tea! <laughs> there it is! Why would she go to the trouble of preparing that? Yeah. Well, obviously, she did so she could get the fury first, which is pretty messed up now that I think about it. How long did it take her to prepare the tea, though? Hm, that is none of your business. <laughs> No, it's clearly strange. I mean, she found the Fury way before we did, so she could have just taken it and ran off. That's... Mm -hmm. You know, that sort of makes sense. Okay. I, I thought the rumors about the Fury would attract other fencers, and I was planning to steal their Furies once they showed up. Well, then why didn't she steal Fang's Fury? That's what I figured, but still, I can't help but wonder why you didn't try to take me from Fang. Yeah, th that was... That was because I felt sorry for you. Why? If you had planned to take their furies in the first place. Liar. You seem really intent on reviving the goddess. There's no way a human would leave a fear behind for a stupid reason like that. Yeah. Uh, th that's... That's because... 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 It would cause undue hardship for a fencer to have their furies stolen. Right? Huh? Undue hardship? Like I said, it would cause undue hardship if bandits attack Fang after a stole's fury, right? Yes, he would die. They could steal all his belongings or just kill him outright. Hmm, I grew weird. You, excuse me, yeah, you're just leaving. That didn't exactly explain why you didn't take... Uh, she left. The hell? Was she embarrassed? You know, she had the antidote all along. Whatever. I can't keep track of her crazy mood swings. I wonder if it's really that embarrassing. Let's see, there's a sub-event at- What? There's a sub-event at Lola? I thought she said she didn't have any information. Welcome! I've got some very valuable Fury info. How does this price sound? For it? Perfectly fine. Thank you for your patronage. Someone claims to have found a new Fury at the Catechist Ice Cave. They couldn't pull it out, though. Okay. Do your best. Apparently I just got pink bunny ears from turning in one of my quests. Who is it for, though? Black Crown. Oh, wow! He actually got a new one. Oh, yeah, and I bought Huggy Aaron, though. I don't know. There's so much cool stuff. I'm gonna give that Huggy Aaron. Pink bunny ear? Done. Okay, well, here we are at the Catechist Ice Cave. I'm going to do this sub-event, uh, and then I think I'm gonna call this an episode. So... Ready? I imagine it'll be something to the... What the fuck? What? Oh, Jesus. They're, why are there three of them? Why are there three of them? Why... Why do these things have hailstones? What? <gasps> they really My don't time. like TR. Okay, it can hit all three. I don't know if this is gonna be very effective at all. Hopefully it is. Did jack shit. She looks so cute with her little bunny ears now, but she's probably going to die. Care to see my Let's true power? Okay, yeah, I'm terrorizing yes. right now because Aaron is inside of her, his face, but that's fine. Um, let's see how does this actually? Fair eyes transformation Aww. complete. Fair eyes Aaron complete. gets covered up by the fair eyes. He hasn't been hurt at all. I think I actually do want to use that just so that way I can Excuse do as much damage as I possibly strike. can. Hopefully, yeah, that does a lot of damage, but not nearly as much as I would hope for because. Final strike! Yeah, he's only at half health now. Stop attacking Tiara, goddamn! Oh, she might be dead. Jeez. What? 15 health! 15 health! Uh, this is a problem. Yeah. <laughs> the music just starts up. Oh god! Ugh, stop attacking her. They're attacking him now. He's weak. That's not a good thing. This is a problem. Let's try because that guy's back is near. Let's see how well this will work out. Because <laughs> it probably will be my final thing before saying screw this. I'm retreating because kill them. Unleash my power. Okay then. We might kill one of them. It's over. No, he's still alive. This is so much effort. This fury better be worth okay? it. Get up here. Is he Get dead? Rest. Nope. He's dead now, though. Next. Jesus! That was so long. That was close. New rec. Yeah, I hope that broken fury hilt. I have. I got three broken fury hilts. What does that even mean? And I got Niles. Okay. Whew. 
It's a horse, and it's made of light. And I hurt. All over. What do you have to say, Niles? Light protection. I'm glad we met like this. It must be fate that we have been brought together. Okay. Well, on that note, I think I'm gonna end this episode here. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, feel free to leave a like. I... That was a tough fight. They're only gonna get even tougher than before, so I'm going to have to remember that for any Lola quests. But, that having all been said and out of the way, see you all next time.